She has had a history of being extremely transphobic, I've heard. You've heard, so what, can you give me an example? Uh... There's a video of a teacher dissecting all the lies about JK Rowling, about her being transphobic, and it's going super viral. Let's watch. She's had a pretty controversial past. I just want to know, like, what are your thoughts on it? Do you still like her work, despite her bigoted opinions? So let's get specific though. You're starting with the conclusion that given her bigoted opinions, does she have bigoted opinions? Excellent. The reason why the student phrased it like that is because he doesn't have the truth on his side. Also, if you call someone a bigot, they're most likely not one. She has had a history of being extremely transphobic, I've heard. And you've heard, so what, can you give me an example? Uh, if you look at her Twitter, I think uh, you could see a few things. You think, but you don't know. Well, that's embarrassing. Do you know what it means to be extremely transphobic? My personal opinion is, it's when you unalive trans people just because they're trans. But you think writing tweets is an extremely transphobic act? Okay, it perfectly shows how these words, transphobic, homophobic, mean absolutely nothing. They mean nothing and anyone can be it. One of these tweets that she came up with in 2019, she said, Dress however you please, call yourself whatever you like, sleep with any consenting adult who'll have you, live your best life in peace and security, but force women out of their jobs for stating that sex is real? Hashtag I stand with Maya. Hashtag this is not a drill. And JK Rowling is talking about a woman who got fired for stating that sex is real. Literally for saying the grass is green. So you find that bigoted? It was deemed transphobic. By who? Or is it called to whom, in this case? Who are those judges who determine what's transphobic and what's not? And who elected them? Do you find that transphobic? Uh, I don't really have an opinion on it. I'm just going with what a lot of other people have said. Let's not go with what other people are saying. Let's try and learn how to critically think. Do you see anything problematic disregarding other people's opinions? Well said, well said. If I was the teacher though, I would have said, so what you're saying is you can't think for yourself. This has nothing to do with critical thinking, in my opinion. It's about actually thinking. It's about using your brain on like a basic level. How can you talk shit about a woman participating in ruining her reputation when you have no idea why she's a bad person? If you're like 14, different story. But if you're an adult, you have no excuses. If a woman says there is a difference between men and female, I think that's what she's saying by attacking someone for stating that sex is real. Is that I, transphobic to you? To me, no. Stating that sex is real is not transphobic. It's just a fact of life. It exists. Exactly. So what's the problem? The depressing part is the student still doesn't get it. So the teacher has to keep going and wake him up a little bit. So is there anything you disagree with in that tweet? Uh, in that tweet, I can't really see anything that I myself disagree with, but I can see why some people would think, oh, this is offensive. We can't have that here. Why? Why do you understand? If you don't think there's something wrong with this tweet, why do you understand how some people believe otherwise? It doesn't make sense. Stating that sex is real doesn't offend anyone. Trans people wouldn't exist if biological sex didn't exist. Because how can trans people transition if biological sex doesn't exist? What do they transition from? From what to what? Stating that biological sex doesn't exist is the most invalidating thing to say to trans people. Because the entire reason trans people exist, I'm talking about the real ones here, is due to gender dysphoria. You know the mental disorder that describes the unbearable pain someone feels about their biological sex? How can trans people feel dysphoric, have this discomfort, if biological sex doesn't exist? Moving on, now the student claims that she wrote an apology tweet. I respect every trans person's right to live any way that feels authentic and comfortable to them. I'd march with you if you were discriminated against on the basis of being trans. At the same time, my life has been shaped by being female. I do not believe it's hateful to say so. It's not. You see anything problematic there? She's apologizing, so no, not really. Um, if I could read it again. She's not apologizing. What are you talking about? You admitted yourself. She didn't say or write anything wrong. I know I'm being impatient and he is changing his mind a little bit in this video, but I just still don't understand why he doesn't get it yet. At the beginning of this conversation, you said, given the fact that JK Rowling is transphobic, do you think that that was the best way to phrase? No, I feel like an idiot now. <laughs> in my class, there's been quite a few people in there who have been saying like, oh, she's transphobic. Until today, I haven't really thought about it because I just believe like, oh, there's five people saying it. It, it must, must be, be correct. Yeah. yeah. 
you're making it worse, but but I respect and I appreciate your honesty. I actually mean it, I, I'm not joking in this case. As you all know, it is better to be open and honest about your ignorance instead of hiding it and accusing other people of being stupid and ignorant. So I truly hope he has learned a lot from this conversation. I also hope a lot of people who've watched this video have learned a lot. I think what the teacher did is a great way to debate woke people, the ideologues who keep repeating the same lies over and over again. He was very calm, rational, and he made the other person look really, really, really dumb. Not to say it should be the goal, but maybe by doing so, the people on that side will realize, holy crap, what have I said? What did I believe in? It's totally bullshit. There's something a little bit sad about how this teacher is getting praised so much online because all he's doing is asking simple questions. Why do you say what you say? Why do you believe what you believe? And why is this person so horrible? I think the teacher is so cool, don't get me wrong, but he's no Jordan Peterson. This is not only something we all can do in real life, we should be doing this already. I wanna read to you another JK Rowling tweet because this tweet describes perfectly the importance of acknowledging biological sex. If sex isn't real, there's no same-sex attraction. If sex isn't real, the lived reality of women globally is erased. I know and love trans people, but erasing the concept of sex removes the ability of many to meaningfully discuss their lives. It isn't hate to speak the truth, period. You go, girl. Ironically, or is it, the same people who claim to be the most pro-LGBT want to erase biological sex. Well, that's not possible. Then you're erasing gay people too. You're erasing same-sex attraction. The reason why I say it's not ironic that these are the same people is because these activists who want to erase biological sex, who want to sterilize young children with puberty blockers, cross-sex hormones, who want men to compete in women's sports, destroy women's lives, are not LGBT people themselves, are faking being LGBT and for LGBT rights. They're the face of the QIA plus in LGBT. And that's why I like to separate QIA plus from LGBT. QIA plus, unlike the LGBT, is an ideology. LGBT is just gays and trans people and bisexuals who want to live a normal life, who can be on the right, on the left, that's it. JK Rowling supports LGBT, but not QIA plus. So that makes her a normal human being and represents the majority of all people. Thank you all for watching this video. If you want to see more content like this, remember to hit subscribe and the notification bell. If you want to support me and my work, my PayPal is in the description down below. You can also support me through locals.com or by becoming a member of this channel. I love you all and I hope to see you in my next video. Peace out.